Hi friends, uh, last video we were trying to understand the Excel object model or Excel object collections or Excel object hierarchy and uh, we need to understand little more about this with a practical sense rather as today in last video I was telling that I will give some practical examples so that will be discussed here. So uh, we will see the tree. Uh, this is Excel is an application. So uh, application is an object and a, and then uh, workbook and it's a collection of uh, ma uh, Currently open workbooks. This is, a, this is a collection of currently open workbooks and then worksheets Worksheets is basically the collection of worksheet objects contained in a particular workbook object again It's an object workbook in object and then so on So here we can add charts as well uh, chart is an also uh, uh, Excel charts are also uh, called as an object because we, we have to deal with them as well. Of course, that can be added so that can be understood in that way. Now, let us go to the navigating through object hierarchy slide. Uh, as I told you, application is an object, so every other object in Excel under the application object. So that is why we have shown ob application object and then workbook object and then worksheet object and then range object and then value also. So we write these codes uh, practically so that we can understand how these things are working. Uh, let us make sure one thing very clear. The VBA code understands before till, uh, till worksheets. We need to talk them as either workbooks or work worksheets not as workbook or worksheet we need to say plural since we will be using our manu are actually working with more than one workbooks or worksheets in a ma macro so by default we need to say workbooks and worksheets of course range is always uh, single and values also is equal to and then if you have to do a range you have to manipulate two ranges you have to give the range names separately so that way it works so let us go to Excel first. So again, Alt F11, our mantra, and uh, close. I have created already one module, and I am writing the code. So first, like uh, test uh, sub test, sorry, test, and then now application see the window opens all objects are shown in the window so that which object we can we can we wanted to insert we can insert but let us not go through this this is very advanced level as aspect so we are actually now doing manually all the things now the tree what is there first application excel application and then you have worksheets sorry workbooks so it's already written as workbooks if you see here it's written as workbooks and then you have to give the name of the workbook it is nothing but book one xlsx here uh, you can use an index number in workbooks but we'll discuss that matter a little later because Index uh, number is little advanced topic and we need to make sure that you are understanding that in a better way. So let us go to the uh, discussion at this level itself. So workbooks and the workbook name. So what you are doing is each object is, is decorated of, with one full stop. So application full stop workbook rather it's we can say dot workbooks the name of the workbook within in, within parenthesis and within inverted commas then next is worksheet sheets and then the sheet name currently we have opened a workbook with sheet 1 and then next what we can say range range is a1 and then next is value is equal to 100 so this is the code why we are writing this code we are understanding how to manipulate the objects in a VBA code so uh, we have written the code 
but it looks like very cumbersome and uh, we are writing a long code way we are writing but we can avoid that we but we can we need to understand then we can avoid that how so application we are already in excel application itself that is why we are writing a code so we can avoid that why this application is actually to be added to the code if suppose you are writing a code which need to be executed from the different application like uh, from outlook or something else or you are actually writing a code to integrate two different applications then this application thing comes so since you are already in excel application you need not uh, uh, bother about uh, application uh, object so that that object is now gone next workbooks you are already in the workbook book 1 you are actually writing the code in book 1 itself so this is a current workbook so you can avoid that as well now worksheet worksheets and sheet 1 from here onwards we need to be careful you know where you are now in excel application you are you are and you are actually using book 1 so that two things are very clear but sometimes what happens when you are dealing with the sheet worksheets you would be uh, maybe you are in sheet 2 and working for sheet 1 and you are in sheet 1 you are working to sheet 2 so i always suggest don't cut further down so at least use this much code so that the short, I mean, shortened code so at least from the worksheets itself so worksheets uh, sheet 1 range a1 value is equal to 100 this code will work in a better way so we have uh, we have actually now understood the how to manipulate the objects worksheet uh, sorry application and then we said workbooks and then worksheets and then range and then value so all the tree we have used <coughs> you can create create further codes also in the next video i will give you how to manipulate charts how to manipulate the color font everything so that code also i'll write and give you and for example for currently now we are using only this much code so you can understand this thing in a very specific way in this video so now i run the code and see what happens for, for first of all i'm just removing this value because i've already tested this uh, macro macro test if i say the value is 100 what is happening what the code is telling you is view code go to the module you're telling the worksheet sheet 1 which is in the worksheet sheet 1 range a1 has to be has to be 100 so that is what you are telling in this code so this way it works uh, hope you understand and we are coming up with more uh, examples in the uh, next video and uh, this will give a kind of eye opener for you to how the VBA is easy and rather it is easier than Excel in the, uh, in the very uh, basic uh, videos I told that VBA is easier than Excel how it is easy we can understand just writing a simple English will help you to understand the code and you can give instructions to Excel uh, for now only this much we'll uh, discuss further matters in next video thank you